restoring the father's name Yahweh. Restoring the Messiah's name Yahshua. Re-establishing Torah Covenant. Preparing the Bride. The Revealing of the Sons of Elohim. Prophecy. The return of Malchizedek, the royal priesthood. Elijah's school of the prophets. The way ministries. A return to the Philadelphian spirit. Revelation chapter 7 After these things I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding with great strength the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow with a hard breath on the earth, on the sea, or on any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal as a stamp mark of secrecy and genuineness of the living Yahweh who is the supreme divinity. And he cried out an exclamation with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was granted to harm wicked heathen with the earth and its occupants in it and the sea, saying in a systematic discourse, do not harm the earth and its occupants in it, the sea or the trees till we have sealed that is private for security and preserving the servants who are a voluntary slave of subserviency of our Yahweh on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed that is private for security and preserving 144,000 of all the tribes and offshoots of race or clan of the children who are sons of Israel of Hebrew origin were sealed. Of the tribe of Yehuda, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 were sealed. And of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. After these things I looked and behold a great multitude which no one, not even one man, could with any power number of all the nations that are pagan and non-Jewish tribes, offshoot of race or clan, peoples, and tongues standing before in the face and sight of the throne, which is the stately seat of power, and before the Lamb that is a lambkin male, clothed with white robes that is a long fitting gown, as a mark of dignity, with palm branches in their hands. And crying out with an exclamation and with a loud voice to articulated disclosure, saying, Salvation, the Deliverer Messiah, belongs to our Yahweh who sits and resides on the throne, which is a stately seat of power, and to the Lamb that is a lambkin male. All the angels stood around in a circle of the throne, and the elders, who are the celestial council of the third heavens, and the four living creatures, and fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped by prostrating in homage like a dog licking his master's hand of Yahweh saying, Amen, so be it, blessing of elegant speaking and eulogy, and glory of honor, praise, and worship, and wisdom of the highest spiritual order, thanksgiving and honor of the highest degree, and of power that is miraculous, and might that is forcible, boisterous, and valiant. Be to our Yahweh forever of the beginning of the world and ever, and without its end, Amen, so be it. Then one of the elders who are the celestial council of the third heavens answered to speak as an expected public address, saying to me, Who are these arrayed in white robes? Where did they come from? And I said to him, Sir, 
who is in authority, you know. So he said to me, these are the ones who come out of the great and fearful tribulation of pressure and persecution and washed their robes that is a long fitting gown as a mark of dignity and made them white in the blood as an atonement of the lamb that is a lambkin male. Therefore, they are before the throne of Yahweh and serve and minister in religious homage to him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will dwell in a mansion that is a symbol of protection and communion among them. They shall neither hunger or be famished or crave any more, nor thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them nor any heat. For the lamb that is a lambkin male, who is the, in the midst of the throne, will shepherd and feed them and lead by showing the way as teaching them to living fountains that is a gushing source of enjoyment of waters. And Yahweh will wipe away that obliterates that sin causes every tear from their eyes.